man, what am I getting myself into by making this video? <laughs> All right, what's going on guys? I am ready. I am ready to fight the anime fans. I'm here to, you know, do some karate. I'm here to go full ninja if anyone dares disagree with my opinion on this whole insane crazy situation that's going down with me, Kenyon, and anime fans and lolly fans. This situation right here is something that's blown way out of proportion. You know it's bad when they're calling me, Kenyon, a pedophile and even worse up on Twitter with next to no proof. I am a Meat Canyon fan. I think his content is funny. So in case you guys don't know, about two days ago, Papa Mead, which is Meat Canyon's second channel, more of his commentary-ish channel, made a video called The Worst Fan Base on the Internet. I didn't see it until some people reached out to me via Twitter. Yo, Sensitive, can you make a video about this? What's going on? I am a man of the people. So in this video, essentially, he just calls lolly people, people who enjoy lolly, the worst and creeps and pedophiles. And I was kind of confused because there's videos videos on YouTube that are saying Meat Canyon is a hypocrite and the thumbnail says he called out anime fans no not the anime fans now i don't know anything about this guy i've never heard of him before he has 650k first time watching his channel and um yeah i don't know if if this is the type of <laughs> content that i'm into not a this i don't know what any of this means but when you see the video like we are he doesn't call out anime fans he calls out a certain group within the anime community that is known as lollies and i might be completely honest with you guys i am not too familiar with this whole lolly thing the first time i really became aware of this was with the whole vosh situation so you know i'm not the tipster i'm not the lolly expert it seems to be a very hot and controversial issue but what if this girl right here is six thousand years old well if she looks like she's Five, you know, I think it's pretty fucking weird <laughs> and creepy. I don't know how anyone could get off to this. Like, whether it's illegal or not, I think it's just fucking weird. And when it comes to anime, I like Naruto. I like some Boruto. The only anime that I really care about is Naruto and Dragon Ball Z. For the record, me, Kenyon, did not call out anime fans and anime fans as pedophiles he was focusing more on the people who like lolly it's a genre of a fictional media which focuses on young girl characters particularly in a sexual suggestive or erotic manner but with that said let's get into this highly controversial video by me canyon and at the time of this recording it has 16,000 dislikes and 56 likes which then comes the real crux of why i thought that this video was interesting is the defense people that like this kind of stuff are on the defense all the time and what's interesting from even the consumers and the creators is that people justify this because you're like oh it you, looks like you're sexualizing a child but they're like dude she's a seven thousand year old dragon wizard okay she's older than you and i she's older than every person ever in your family combined okay i mean she has more insight and maturity than anyone. And that's like one of the big defenses, right? People and the creators being able to get around with little loopholes like that makes it feel like it, it justifies this very creepy, creepy act. Now, when I see people on Twitter defend this kind of stuff, <laughs> But whenever I see a grown ass man older than me being like, no, dude, it's perfectly fine to jerk off to this because she's like 10,000 years old, you know? And then they look like this. It's like, well, tell me how old does she look, man? <laughs> Go ahead. Do you think they'll let her in the bar? <laughs> I definitely think it's weird. I've seen some people say it's drawings. It's nothing illegal. And then I've seen other people go and say, well, this kind of introduces people into the idea that this is okay and cute. And then they could bounce from this onto real people. And I don't have any data on that. So I can't flat out be like, it's real. Lock every single lolly con right now. So far, you know, I don't really see anything crazy with what he's saying. And I actually got curious and I searched, is lolly con illegal? And it says lolly is not only legal in Japan, it's pretty common, but has been controversial. I wonder why. So the question is whether possessing lolly con in the United States is legal? The answer is no. Lollicon meets the criteria for child, I mean, I don't wanna say this for, you know, CP cheese pizza. Notably, Lollicon is considered CP. It's a very controversial situation. Like I can see both sides. It's just a drawing. Even though I personally find it, once again, extremely fucking weird. I can see the argument that it's a drawing. I'm trying to play the devil's advocate. It's just strange to me, okay? I don't get it. 
I don't understand why out of all the perfectly people that look like they're 18 plus in the anime world, why would anyone go for someone who looks so young? That's just weird to me. And I personally wouldn't be friends with someone who's like, you know what? My favorite thing is Lolly. Yeah, I would probably run away and block that person. I do see the argument as well that it's just a drawing. And it's not harming anyone because that's fiction and it's not a real person. It will be completely different than a real young girl, right? Like if you're actually getting off to this, I will be questioning what you have on your hard drive. I'm not even gonna lie. Out of everything that you can nut to this, is what you decide. And that's like one of the big defenses, right? People and the creators being able to get around with little loopholes like that makes it feel like it, it justifies this very creepy, creepy act, which I don't know if it does. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and say it doesn't. <laughs> I'd like to, in a lot of cases, I like to play devil advocate, but I need to put an extreme foot down that no, this is just, it's, it's just playing gross and wrong, if I'm being completely honest. Even though let's say that you drive home that point, right? This character is so much older. It's a 7,000 year old dragon wizard. It was trans. It's formed. It's actually an old person stuck in a in a little girl's body. It, it, it doesn't help that I would say 99% of the time in these cases, or if not 100% of the time, these characters act like little children. A good example of that is Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. There's no beating around the bush. I mean, I looked at this show for a little bit. I mean, it's supposed to be this big, powerful dragon that turns into this little girl, but she acts like an absolute toddler, and they put like a big, a big so it's just this really weird, odd, it's like a sour taste in your mouth where you're like, what is this for? What's the, what's the end plan with this? The constant barrage of, it's cute, becomes their narrative. It's cute. These things are cute. I, I just like doing it because it's cute. It may, I mean, it's just the intense taste of salt in your mouth. Yeah, I don't know. Like I've never seen this show. So correct me if I'm wrong. Something in me is just like, that ain't right, boy. <laughs> You know, I don't have a problem with people being like, this anime character is cute. You know, it gets pretty iffy when it comes to people who look like they're seven years old and they got the biggest tits on planet Earth. It does get kind of concerning. But that's just one man's opinion. If you don't agree with me, that's completely fine. We're not twins. We're not supposed to agree on everything. It's fine for people to disagree with me and my content from time to time. I actually quite enjoy that. That lets me know that, you know, I don't have a sheep fan base. This is the video that's breaking the internet internet that's gone people pissed beyond belief the reason why i wanted to talk about this despite me not knowing a lot about both subjects is because i'm not coming from a biased standpoint you know what i mean just because i enjoy his content doesn't mean that i agree with everything he said or done but i think it's important because some of the people who are calling me kenya now their whole channel is dedicated to anime like this guy for example clearly there's going to be some bias and then the people that are calling him out on twitter are dedicated anime stand accounts so of course they're going to be biased and i'm just here chilling in the middle talking about this number one i find it interesting number two i think people are overreacting by thinking he's calling out the whole entire anime fandom despite the fact that he himself admits that he's an anime fan so by that extension he's calling himself a pedophile i don't think or know anyone who will do that willingly so this account says gross out cartoon youtuber makes a video about a topic that he has seemingly limited and biased understanding of casually brands a whole fan base as potentially dangerous individuals to his two million fans over fictional content now i think a lot of people are missing that he's talking about the people who are dangerous I think people are missing the point he's strictly calling out the crazy ones the people who might have you know a very interesting folder i don't think he's trying to insult the whole anime community i think he's focusing on the worst aspects of that community. I don't think you're a pedophile because you watch anime. I don't think you're a pedophile because you think some anime characters are cute. I think it's the extreme ones that are, well, the disturbing ones. Now, it's a whole different conversation if you're like, do you think Lollicon is CP? But there's a group of people who are like, well, I mean, nothing's really happening. I mean, yeah, sure. It looks like she's bending over and doing that, but it's not really the case, so it's fine, right? wrong. If you catch yourself in a conversation like this, here's what you do. <laughs> Run away from those people is the biggest thing. Which a lot of people also say, as long as it sticks to PG-13 content, the sexualization and everything is minimalized. There's really no victims, right? Wrong. Once again, wrong. The idea isn't necessarily that you're affecting anyone in the physical real world, but it's the implications that are happening. And I think it's just the mindset that you're creating. I really don't think that this kind of fantasy can be broken up. In some kinds of drama and film, like even Lolita the film, we're never seeing the character in a positive light. We're following a pedophilic monster. There's nothing that is
is a positive, healthy association of your sexuality to these characters. So by doing so, even in these non-explicit but still suggestive pictures, I still feel like it's just an irreversible amount of damage that you can do to yourself. There's no coming back from it. You normalize yourself in these fucking horrid, weird things, and then you ostracize yourself from actual society. And then guess what? You can't get real girlfriends, you can't get real wives, and if you do, you're probably an unhappy one, is what I like to imagine. That's probably very, that's honestly, that's kind of rude and a bit judgy, but that's just me. Now, I kind of do agree with the last part. There's a lot of people. I don't know if this is going to get me banned from the Naruto convention, if I say this. But yeah, you know, there's a lot of weirdos out there who fall in love with anime girls. As they think no other woman comes close to their anime waifu. You know, I do think that's pretty cringe and pathetic. <laughs> And it's kind of concerning. You prefer a piece of paper over a real woman? Okay, yeah, you need to be locked away for that. And the other side believes that in no situation is any of it okay. That the sexualization of a character with any underage features is automatically pedophilia and should be considered CP, cheese pizza. So you have cheesecake and you have cheese pizza. You know, these terms sound like they're back alley deals going on. Which, if you ever see someone asking for a slice of cheese pizza on an anime forum, report and run away. If it's your post, delete the post. It's like a little infection. You don't want that kind of thing coming there. And yeah, I don't disagree with them here. I think some of them need to get their hard drives checked. But once again, I don't think it's, you know, millions of people, at least in the US. I don't think it's millions. I think it's definitely the thousand. But I think people are overreacting to this, like extremely overreacting. People want to crucify him. They're calling him a pedophile. But yeah, I'm ready for the lolly fans to attack me, to crucify me to dox me and my puppy because I don't 100% agree with them. I'm really interested to read the comment section on this. I know it's gonna get spicy. I know people are gonna be fighting, pulling their hair. Anyways, now if you excuse me, I gotta go shower because I feel stinky after so much anime talk. <laughs> and yeah, Boruto is the greatest anime of all time. All right, subscribe, bye. <laughs>